Hi guys, this is Broomstick88. Welcome to another version of Get Ready with MJ. I am MJ, which is awesome because it'd be a little weird if it was Get Ready with MJ, but my name was Brenda. So uh, we're gonna be hanging out and doing this really neutral lip, kind of intense eye with splatter liner. Look at that kind of stuff. And uh, stay tuned, we're gonna have a really good time. Thank you. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna prep my skin. I already did a sheet mask that was a um, honey and collagen boosting one. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Tarte Maracuja oil, which I absolutely love, and just get a little under my eyes and on my lips. When I do it on my lips, I am kind of trying to avoid getting just under them, especially in this area where I get a lot of hormonal acne. And then I'm just going to rub this in under my eyes to moisturize all those deep bags that I've got going on. You can buy the most expensive, amazing, oh my god, primer in the world. But if you're not taking good care of your skin, your makeup is not going to sit well with you. And that's kind of a big deal. Like, you're paying a lot of money for your makeup, or you could be paying a lot of money for your makeup. You want to put it on a good canvas. It's like buying a $50 tube of paint and then painting on construction paper. It's just not, it's not worth your money. So do yourself a favor, try to take care of your skin. I do a sheet mask like two to three times a week. And then besides that two to three times a week, I also moisturize pretty much daily. I don't sleep with my makeup on. Last night I slept with my eyeliner on, but it was just not coming off and I had to go to bed because I felt like shit. But um, take care of your skin is like the main point and then I'll stop preaching about this and we'll go back to looking beautiful. So I've gone ahead and done my eyebrows already using the Stilla Inked Cushion Liner. And this is the color Garnet. And I, they're a little on the red side. I'm not sure if you can tell because I'm playing with my lighting recently and I don't know what's good and what's not good. And I just use a really basic flat angled brush. And I'm not showing that stuff on camera just because I do it all the time. So there's only really so many ways you can watch me do my eyebrows basically. And I also use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance to already put my base down. Now I'm going to be doing the Creme Brulee Wet n Wild. It's one of their little single colors. It's super cute. It is matching my skin tone. So if you are not as ghostly pale as I am, this is not going to work for you. And I'm using a pretty big brush. I think this is actually supposed to be a highlighting brush. And I'm just going over my entire eyelid all the way up to my brow bone around the inner corner and out. I'm just creating a nice smooth canvas so that all my blending goes nicely. I'm going to be taking some basics just scotch tape and I'm going from the corner of my eye to the tail of my eyebrow. Now I did remove the natural tails to my eyebrows so that I can shape them the way that I want them to because the natural tail of my eyebrow kind of comes down curvy this way and I wanted it to go out that way. I am wearing red plaid leggings today and then a gray shirt and I have a little green undershirt peeking out from underneath it. So I'm going to start with my absolute favorite red. This is Makeup Forever's matte red. It's one of their cranberry shades. Ooh, so pretty. So, so pretty. And I'm just going to use a little flat brush from Ulta. And this is going to be my outer corner shade. Now using a semi-clean blending brush, I'm gonna smooth that out. And that's gonna be the theme of today, is pack it on, blend it out. Pack it on, blend it out. Because I'm gonna be mixing and matching from a lot of palettes today, which I do pretty regularly, I'm gonna take Makeup and Chill, this warm brown color, and this is from the Too Faced Power of Makeup with Nikki Tutorials palette. I really think it's just a really pretty shade, but it's not a shade that I wear by myself. So I'm just cleaning off my brush with my little carbon spongy thing. 
and then lower than I did the red, but still in the outer corner, I'm working my way in. Blendy brush. When you're working with really intense colors like red, keeping things soft can often make them a little bit more day to day, a little bit more wearable. I wear a lot of really intense colors on the regular. So if you wanna do something crazy and bold, no problem. But by blending them and keeping them really soft, you are gonna make them a little bit more comfortable, especially if you're new to wearing makeup and you're not used to rocking it or maybe not as comfortable as wearing the crazy crazy colors but if you are comfortable wearing crazy co crazy colors then just wear them now from the wet and wild comfort zone palette i'm going to take this pretty peachy brown pink what is that sorry i'm filming on my phone as i do per usual and notifications are popping up because i'm getting ready to go out to dinner with my family and that's not in that long of a time frame. And it's like, notification, notification, notification. Hey, 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 hey. And I'm like, I know, I'm aware. That's why I'm getting ready right now, leave me alone. Using a flat brush after my freak out, I'm picking up that peachy pink brown. And I'm gonna pop this on the center of my lids. And then I'm gonna work my way towards that inner corner. What do you guys think about all these peach palettes that have been showing up lately? Like I'm super tempted. I really, I have some money in Sephora gift cards and I'm super tempted to go in there and grab the Sweet Peach palette, but the Kat Von D, by the way, I'm also going up under my brow bone now. And I'm picking up this like pearly yellow shade and doing that too. Um, but the Kat Von D pastel goth, as I was saying, is, this palette that I just have love for. I think Jay Kissa was the one who reviewed it and I was like, I need to own that because that describes everything that I love about life is the pastel goth. So as I'm doing this, I'm kind of not loving it. So we're going to make some adaptions. I'm going to go back into that Makeup Forever red, the matte red and I'm gonna bump up that outer corner a little bit more. I think I just, I kind of blended away more than I really wanted to. So I'm gonna get that back in there and bring it a little bit deeper in this time. See, that already is way better for me. Now, to you guys, I know it looks like I'm going like really messy out here, but that's why I had the tape on. That's a nice little cheater trick to keeping your makeup looking really, really neat, but still allowing you to kind of blend the way that's comfortable for you. Yeah, that's that's already better. That's already what I want more. Now from the Harouche, styled by Harouche, Harouche, I'm never gonna say her name right. I'm gonna pick up Bliss, which is her golden highlight shade on my fingertip and get under that brow bone. And then right in the inner corner, top and bottom. That blending brush has a little more red on it than I really want to carry out. So I'm gonna grab another blending brush and just soften up that super intense highlight color. And make sure my crease is nice and blendy. Okay, tape peeling time. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. Somewhat ouchy, but totally results worth it. I'm gonna show you guys another little cheater trip. You can do a tape. I'm taking a piece of the scotch tape and I wrapped around my finger. And I'm just going in that line where it got a little bit heavy and I'm tapping away the excess. So I've done part of my eyeliner and once again, to keep things from getting redundant, I just did 
a medium thick black line. I have not yet winged it out and there's a reason for that which we'll talk about in a few minutes. I also did a partial inner corner line. Ooh, that's a lot of highlight shade right there. We're gonna get some cover up on that. Um, but I'm gonna try to do something neat with my eyeliner that I've seen a lot on Instagram lately that I really enjoy. And um, if it doesn't work, whatever, I can fix it. If it does work, it's gonna look awesome. So one of my New Year's resolutions was to get better at highlighting and contouring because I see such beautiful skills out there and I really want to be able to offer those skills to friends and family and someday maybe clients whose makeup I do. So I am going in with that Wet n Wild Cushion highlight, uh, Contour. Oh, that was fun. Folding the sponge in half. And just tapping in under my non-existent cheekbones. I've never had cheekbones. And just very lightly, or less lightly than I plan to, around my uh, hairline. And then just going in with the same sponge that I used to blend in my foundation and just softening that up. I'm gonna try using my finger with the cushion foundation to get down the sides of my nose because the pad that it comes with is just not designed for that. Huh. I'm actually a little impressed with myself right now. That does not look terrible. For highlight, I'm going to be using this $1 find. This is the Hard Candy Strobing Glow All The Way, which is funny because I think NYX's new line is also called Glow All The Way. This is a white highlighter with a slight yellow tinge to it. I'm going to go pretty high back here because I don't want it to be super intense, and I'm just tapping it. I do like the little Cupid's bow that's really intense though. I always think that's super cute. Very nice. Very, very nice. I'm going to be taking the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blusher in Mellow Wine, which is a matte color, and just super teeny tiny on the cheeks. I think Jenna Marbles once said in a video when she was talking about what a girl's makeup means, she was like, and a super strong cheek look means you just have shitty lighting because this doesn't look good on anybody. And I agree. I'm going to be using a fluff brush, fluff brush, fluff brush, fluff brush, with the NYX setting powder to just make sure all these cream products that I use don't move. I'm going out for lobster with my family. So I'm not going to want to be super crazy with the oil and grease because I'm going to get some of that while we're out. And continuing with the reddish theme I have going on here, I am using Oxblood Faux Black Liner from NYX. This is one of their pretty new ones. I'm going to do my inner water line. I'm gonna carry over where I had done the black towards the inner corner, and I'm just carrying that red from edge to edge. And this is where things are gonna get a little creative. We have recently seen some really cool stuff on Instagram. I know Byers Hazardous Beauty just did this, and I was like, oh, I want that. I do not have her amazing bone structure. I have bone structure, like I have bones in my face, and that is as bone structure as we get. But I'm gonna be using this Ico 
skinny liner because it has a nice sharp tip on it I'm gonna try to do that little splatter effect so um we'll see how this goes so I'm doing just a teensy tiny little wing following my eyeliner and then I'm gonna start dotting and I'm gonna keep the dots really so there's a lot of them near the liner and then have them fade out to almost nothing From far away, that looks really cool. Up close, it's a hot mess. But from far away, it looks really cool. So as I said, from far away, this looks really cool. Up close, like if someone's way up here, I don't know if you guys can tell, it is a hot mess. It is not, it's not an up close look. Um, and I also went a little overboard with this inner cat eye here. So I'm gonna grab an oopsie pen and clean that up real quick. Uh, oh, it's right here actually. I don't have to go for it. Yay! This, it's actually called an oopsie pen. It's the oopsie proof liner eraser from Hard Candy is the shit. So I did use my Physician's Formula Eyelash Boosting Instant Eyelash Extension Stall Eyes nine million letter long name um it is the only mascara i've ever used that says it's going to make it look like you have falsies on and actually makes it look like you have falsies on as some of you might have noticed i am not a person who really enjoys false lashes i just they nobody got time for that shit like i do have time for that but i'm just not patient enough for them to dry and i get mad at them and then like within hours i'm like oh, i'll get this shit off my face sparkles loves them i cannot get into them this stuff though this stuff is awesome like i don't get any fallout all over my face i do do them like looking straight down at my desk but they give you like really nice full lashes i did a review on this um like a month and a half two months ago i really love this mascara it is totally worth the drugstore high-end price of like 15 bucks or whatever but it's worth it and i'm gonna do my lower lashes now so i'll be right back because my eyes are a little intense and over the top right now, I'm just gonna be doing a really basic nude lip. This is Nudist from Hard Candy. It's super creamy. That and I'm gonna go eat lobster, so I'm just gonna talk and eat all of this off anyways. Okay, that's it guys. We're gonna throw some setting spray on this and we are all done to go out and jam. As always, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I love having you guys as part of my internet family. Thank you. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. And uh, share, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And let's spread the love. Pay it forward, guys.